Wow, a new e-juice company. Hang in. Hello fellow vapors, Vaping Newbie here, and we're going to be looking at three juices from a new, to me, juice company up here in the Great White North, the Great Canadian E-Juice Company, and the link for the website, Facebook page is down below, go give them a look. Um, Dave and Leslie have started a very small company, and it's growing, it's growing very quickly, and uh, a lot of fans, they sent me out some E-Juice uh, to try, and I'm going to be... Uh, Taking a look at it, it'll be in different uh, tanks, different uh, uh, resistances, and different wattages. So as I go, um, I'll be letting you know. All the juices are three milligram of nicotine, and they're all 40% VG. Sorry, 40% PG, 60% VG, um, which is their 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 base that they look at. Now uh, I want to quote this because it's important. Uh, when I was talking to Leslie, they said that all their juices. Um, are tested by an independent lab so that is that is quite an important thing uh, now I have two sizes of bottles and both are kind of different so um, the small bottles which is gonna be the first juice I'm gonna be talking about is it's, it's a generic e-juice bottle it has that little um, sort of spout and that I like because it works in so many um, different ways and different tanks and whatnot uh, what I like about it for a great Canadian e-juice the label is bilingual I like that aspect of it um, they do not put the PG VG ratio but Leslie tells me it's something that they're working on on their new uh, on their new labels and um, on this small bottle I do not see the nicotine level but uh, it's what I requested so I know that it's three milligrams um, so we're looking at three the first juice up today and, and before I start taste is subjective what you like I might not what I like you might not know keep that in mind uh, this is called, and, and I'll show it to you. Hmm. Um, now this is really interesting because uh, it's what they call a mystery flavor. They're not giving it away. They're all they're saying is that it's a fruit flavor. So I put this in my limo, and I built this limo high so I could do um, different juices. I carry different tanks. So in order for me to get different juices, this is at 1.7 ohms. And I'm vaping it at 15 watts. Uh, this juice kind of uh, in the door. It's it it's it's too generic. I'm not quite sure what the surprise or what the mystery is, but I find it's a very generic uh, tasting juice. Um, if it's a fruit, I cannot get my arms around what fruit it is, but it is a fruit. They, they admit that it is a fruit, and I can't taste it. There's no uh, singular fruit that jumps out to, to me. Now, I've been vaping a lot of raspberry, a lot of strawberry, a lot of lemon, and it doesn't fit into those three categories, so I'm thinking it's something a bit more adventurous. But, again, I found a kind of a, a generic vape. Um, it's good, but it's not spectacular, and... Uh, you know, when you're looking at fruit vapes, it's hard to expect spectacular. I mean, it's it's fruit. It's 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 a basic. It's not like it's a, a custard or a cake. You know, it's a fruit. So um, it, it's it it is what it is. It's and and I know people hate that expression, but we we're just talking about it today on Facebook. But um, that's what it is. It's just it's just nothing jumps out at me. So let me change out the tank and get to the next juice, and I'll be with you tonight. The next juice uh, made a really smashing comeback. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to focus this because it's a long name. Um, well, let me see. Yep, there we go. Cast Custard's Last Fruit Stand. Um, I like the idea behind the name. It's, it's, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. Now, I put this in my Squape Reloaded clone, and this is a point, a nine, uh, point, I'm sorry, point 0.8 ohm coil, and I'm vaping it at 22 watts. They came back really well. The flavor on this, it has a fruity flavor to it. And again, 
Um, I hate using the word generic in this case because, uh, but but it is. It's a, it, it seems like a mixture of fruit. Not one is jumping out at me. I'm getting a bit of strawberry, but not one is really jumping out at me. And then there's is a smooth background to it, so it's not a harsh um, fruit vape. It's actually very very nice. On the inhale, and and I should have mentioned this previous. Um, they're very smooth. They don't have a harsh throw hit. It's 40% PG and 3 milligrams of nicotine, but it's really smooth, and I and I appreciate that, so good job on that. But this particular Custard's Last Fruit Stand Juice, really, really nicely done. Good job, guys, on this one. Uh, again, that's Custard's Last Fruit Stand. Now, um, the last juice they sent me, uh, it, it's kind of ironic because um, I usually say I try to save the best for last. And uh, this juice is one of those juices that um, had me kind of mixed up because it's two elements that I generally don't like to vape. Although, I'm, I'm starting to. I'm starting to. And it's juices like this. That's the reason why. And this is a three, 30 milliliter bottle. It's a glass bottle with the dripper. It has the childproof caps, as the other ones did. Again, it has that bilingual label. And let me take a look. Um, on the side of this, it's big enough. You can see the uh, nicotine levels, but there's nothing that denotes what it is. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, but um, perhaps they'll stamp it when, when you do the order. Uh, again, bilingual, I like that. I mentioned that. And uh, the PGVG ratio, they are working on it. It's a nice, nice bottle. The name of this juice is called After 8. And I put this in my sub tank, but I have the 1.2 ohm coil. Not everybody likes a sub tank, a uh, sub ohm. It's no big reason for it. Uh, so I put it in my um, sub tank, 1.2 uh, ohm coil. I'm vaping it at 20 watts. This was phenomenal. You get the coolness on the inhale. And when you wait, there it is. It's the after eight taste. When I was a kid, and it brings back memories, because when I was a kid, only at Christmas time, uh, we didn't grow up with much, so only at Christmas time, my parents would buy a, a box of after eight mints. And after Christmas dinner, you were allowed to have one. And that carried through my childhood, right up until my parents passed on. And, you know, uh, it's a tradition that many, many families, particularly up here in Canada, uh, 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 carry on. So this really brought home a lot of those old memories for me. Really, really nice. You don't want to hear about my memories. Really, really nice. Uh, again, and, and, and it's important because it, it combines that sort of chocolate and, and mint, and I don't do either, but when it's mixed like this, it's really nice. It'll break up. I could see me vaping this after supper. It'll, it, it'll break up all the other tastes and flavors that I do during the day and just sort of calm it down and refresh the palate. So, wow, Dave and Leslie, you guys nailed this one. This is really, really a good juice uh, after eight, and I want to I want to uh, congratulate you on that, folks. That's it. Those are the three juices. Um, you're want to you're going to want to you're going to want to go take a look uh, at their website. It's growing. It's growing slowly. So uh, they're sort of perfecting juices before they go on. And uh, meeting these people on Facebook, um, it's such a great way to, to try flavors. And, you know, it's not a massive cost amount. They have various, let me see, their, their nicotine levels that they offer. Uh, on, on, this, uh, on this particular juice, I'm seeing 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, 24. So they cover, they cover the, the whole span. So good job there. I want to thank them for sending me this juice. Uh, I always appreciate it. Folks, give them a look up. Uh, just read some of their descriptions. They're, they're quite good. And um, order something. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, I always like spending time with you. You know I love it when you drop by. Stay healthy and happy vaping. Take care, folks.